Hey guys, it's Silver This Volume with another video for Play, Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. I'm playing uh, an EGIK WM France Tech G456 game with Idlewild, VV Lot, and V. Open my one of my favorites, Child Psychologist. So what am I getting back here? Peon, Mayor Candidate, or Inventory Manager? I'd be pretty happy with any of those. Maybe even Hen Keeper would be fine too. Wealthiest Zero, of course, does not go with Child Psych. But it can. Like, Family Growth Without Room is a thing later in the game. You can play Wealthiest Zero in, like, round 8 and then play Child Psych after in round 9 and still get, you know, 5 or 6 Ox out. But most of the time, that's not going to be what I'd be looking to do. Uh, not a great pack here. Yeah, quite a poor pack, actually. Like, second picking Paleontologist or Naturalist or Polymorph Master. Um. Could take Swineherd, I suppose. And then the idea with the Swineherd is that I have a six food action, which my child psychologist appreciates, really reliably being able to get food. Um, yeah, I don't really want to just guess on naturalist here. I want to take something that I'm pretty confident I'm going to play. And paleontologist is fine with child psychologist. Usually you want to get a hearth or fireplace, so then holding the sheep to breed is a thing that I can do. Uh, okay. Um, could go gardening enthusiast, could go merchant plowman, could go carpenter. Uh, probably I'd go gardening enthusiast here. Um, there are a lot of plows which are quite good with the gardening, gardening enthusiasts, like especially if I picked up like an iron plow or something, I could play it very easily. <sighs> with Merchant Plowman in the game, like maybe the Naturalist is playable, but I don't expect to see the Naturalist again. I expect it will get taken. Uh, do I want Homemaker? Most of the time, no. Because most of the time you're just fencing one time. Uh, do I want to speculate on Branch Collector? Or Resource Gatherer? Resource Gatherer is fine. But I've seen all four packs that I know. There's not a great occupation for a stone house. I'd really be hoping to see, you know, lighthouse or something. Ah, uh, I guess I'm just going to take branch collector. I think branch collector is fine. So peon and mare candidate came back. So with Guarding Enthusiast, I like Peon a bit less, but I could do a baking strategy with Peon. I think, though, I'm going to take the Mare Candidate. It goes with the Branch Collector pretty nicely, and uh, yeah. Building the Well can be a good option. Uh, I guess I could speculate on Harvest Helper. Yeah, not too excited about any of these. I think I do the Swineherd play that I talked about earlier. Make the boar space a pretty pretty good action space for me. Or at least a reliable source of food if I have a hearth. <sighs> Excuse me.
Do I want Rivermen? I could build the BMW with Rivermen, I suppose. But I could just take Water Carrier here. Yeah. A Water Carrier could come out really late, though. Thing is, how many times are you taking Reed after Child Psychologist would play Rivermen? Not that many times. Water Carrier is something that works if we see, like, um, well upgrades, like the Wishing Fountain. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> We've also got Alms Basket here, which is pretty awesome with Child Psychologist, because, of course, you can, hold, you can, you know, play your Ox later. And I've got Grain Mill Oven here, which I could wheel. So this is actually a really great Alms Basket hand so far, I think. So I could take the alms basket, try to wheel green mill oven. But the other thing I could do is take the wishing fountain and go after the well really hard with Mare Candidate. Or like, e e even if I don't go after the well until Mare Candidate gets played by Child Psych, I mean, I could just try to take Reedstone food a couple times in stage one. And that's a reasonable thing to do. So... Do I want to go like the oven route with alms basket or do I want to go the wishing fountain route? Um, let's go the wishing fountain route. Multiple. It's definitely possible to do like four food per round and then have wishing fountain in play. So I can turn those into, you know, whatever I need exactly. Well, and then I see bronze oven. <laughs> Hmm. Harvest Feast, interesting. Lumber is fine. But I think I'm just taking American... Ah, uh, upholstery is a bit interesting. Upholstery is quite interesting, but I'll take I'll take Magnet here. It triggers Branch Collector. It uh, replaces itself. Um, but yeah, Lumber and Upholstery are both very good cards to get back here. I should double check the exactly how water carrier works, but I'm pretty sure it works the way that I think it does. Food is not distributed a second time when it's upgraded to the village well. Yeah, because it says the well, but it is if it's built for the second time. If the well has already been upgraded to the village well and returned to the major board, the food is nevertheless distributed. Cool. So I can play water carrier after building the well the first time. Um, okay, I like uh, banana tree here. So if I'm planning to build the well multiple times, then reedstone food actions are going to be really important. Banana tree is not like the best start player action in stage one because it does require wood and clay. But it's an okay option. All right, animal trap. Mm, chicken coop's not bad here. Like, I could really go crazy on the... Like, chicken coop is, like, play, pay this, get the resources back, and then get five more resources, which is pretty cool. But uh, I, I got to take Animal Trap here. It's too good with the Branch Collector and my obvious plan to build the well. Chicken coop, build all the wells. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, probably not Stone Cart. Uh, is Reed Exchange okay? Reed Exchange feels a bit awkward because I'm going to like the Reedstone food space so much early on. So I think I'm going to take Grain Mill Oven. I don't know if I'll actually play it or not. Uh, somebody took um, Reed per improvement card. So I could go Lumber here. Yeah, but passing Harvest Feast around is a bit dangerous, but 
Lumber is just really excellent with this hand, especially with Magnet. Even if I didn't have the Wishing Fountain, this would still be an excellent Magnet hand, Animal Trap, Grade 11, Lumber. Playing, pay, playing those essentially for free It's pretty good. Uh, am I going to want a fence? No, I don't think so. Ah, uh, you know what? Start player hammer if I have four wood is not the worst thing because it lets me hold the two cattle. But I have paleontologists to hold animals, so. Take stable. Sure. So I'm really hoping to get Reedstone food a bunch of times in stage one. If I can get like three of the first five Reedstone food actions, I'm going to be in a really good spot because that's going to let me hold on to my, um, hold on, holding on to build, building the well until like branch collector is ready to come out. We'll see though. TBD. I don't have any free start players, so that's like the one. I know I was saying I need to get start players for stage one, but I don't have anything that's really, really cheap. Kind of a bunch of these have the problem that they want to come out after something else comes out. Like Banana Tree can get can get me the wood back if I have Branch Collector in play, for example. But how often am I going to have Branch Collector in play and then want to play, play Banana Tree after that? Not too often. Be playing magician, so I get read no food round one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and I'm happy with two wood or two clay. Idle wild freeloader, beautiful. Usually, you don't start player with freeloader, so not going last is going to be nice. Uh, I'll take the two clay, since I'm more likely to take a random good wood action. And maybe the sheep flip and I get the first fireplace. Have it fall in my lap. This would be a good, it would have been a good Akater game. I wonder if I have to, do I have to take, take Chicken Coop over Animal Trap if I have a Akater? Mm, maybe. Saw so three wood into banana tree here. Take reedstone food again. I know while freeloading reedstone food is a bit of a bad sign. It's not the worst thing in the world, but if I have to play the well in round four, it's it's not the worst. Or five, it's not the worst. Oh, stage star for V. Fun. Yeah, so V's going to protect traveling players pretty aggressively with Magician. Nice. Nice, really nice start for V. Look at seven. Yeah.
Got a wild cut inventory manager. Solid card. Take read stone food with the intention of wheeling um, a three wood action. I might not wheel a three wood action. Probably DV lots on arms basket, right? Especially with the four clay here. I would guess DV lots on arms basket. Give you a lot start player read exchange. Okay. Um, I'm hoping to get read stone food next round. I mean, there's a decent chance. That, so one of DV lot or V will build, right? V is going to take traveling players here. So DV lot or V will build. And there's a four wood action. So hopefully the four wood appeals to one of them. The problem is if I don't get Reedstone food, Idlewild could freeload Reedstone food into the well. And Idlewild knows that uh, Idlewild opened Animal Trap and then didn't see it come back. So yeah, could get kind of wrecked by that. But maybe V, like the, maybe the two read for the second room will appeal to V. The problem is Reedstone food to build the clay oven might appeal to V as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. I think losing the well is catastrophically bad. So I'm going to do a bit of a crazy play here. I'm going to mare candidate. into building the well yeah it just feels bad montu just it just feels bad it's a pretty big feels bad playing any ox before child psychologist is feel is it feels bad and i'm also not triggering branch collector when i build the well Oh, V start player. That's good for me. That means Idlewild can't start player into the well.
in action here could be three read three read puts me in a position to double build uh i expect dv lot start players but might take the sheep and then v v could read stone food or take three wood Second action child psych is also an uh, uh probably that's what I should do. I should probably child psych second move. Ooh, is this start player homework? Um that seems kind of crazy. Playing Miser and Carpenter. There was that combo out there. So yeah, you get to build your wood rooms for two wood, one reed. But you can only build one at a time. Oh, Idawa did it on Major Minor. Interesting. Oh, very interesting. I think didn't take an inventory manager. Or maybe did. Maybe the one Clay is from Inventory Manager. You not taking the sheep. Hmm. And then V takes the clay. Wow. Interesting. Nobody wants to start player. All right. Well, I'm going to play my child psych here in preparation for family growth flipping potentially next round. And also, I might get four read next round. I might get first move four read. Because Idlewild is going to try to build to freeload growth in seven. So Idlewild's going to make sure that they grow. So Idlewild might start first move build. Uh, Idlewild took the read. Okay. No problem. Lot plays engineering. Fun! So engineering and arms basket. I don't think... Did I see engineering? I'm not sure. What is Ottawa doing with that stone? Well, since Ottawa took a clay, I'm assuming it's going to a clay uh, the stone oven. But what source of grain does Ottawa have? I'm not sure about that. Not arms basket. Could just be like Peon. Idlewild probably took Peon out of my... Because I wield Peon and uh, Mare Candidate. So Idlewild probably has Peon. So it might just be build the stone oven and then the grain space is a, you know, four food action. Mm. Late family growth. Good for my child psych and good for the freeloader. Might just be BMW. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. Hmm. How good is this six clay? Or 
wondering if I should take it over for wood. The six clay becomes wood later, right? With branch collector, <laughs> hopefully. Game's not terrible considering it is park SP. Yeah. That's the nice thing about no, that's like the, the it, no occupation miners are at their best when you have to park start player because you can play a couple of them and if you have a couple of them, you play a couple of them in, in a row and they usually have a very high impact because they have a fairly strict prerequisite. B plays businesswoman, so clay oven and what? Something else? Baking field, okay. Three wood or reed stone food here? I guess three food steal a wood is not the worst action as well. But that'll be available... Mm, no, you know what? You will be taking that with the second move next round, won't he? Uh, the Reedstone food sets up for the double build. I'm not sure that I want a double build, but it also sets me up for like Rental Pottery as well. Gives me options. So I'll play Water Carrier next round and then I play Branch Collector. Um, I can play Water Carrier and Branch Collector next round because I only need to feed four. I pick up two. So then I could build into Reno be uh, Reno Pottery. Mm, yeah, that would be okay. I think. I think that would be okay. Although then I have to pick up one stone to plate magnet. So keeping myself at one stone would be nice. I had a wild BMW shirt. Be playing super safe here and taking start player. Okay. Um, so Idlewild can build second move. That probably doesn't, right? So is there a way for me to build in eight? To grow in nine there should be and especially if I take read I probably can make that happen as well so maybe take read stone food first move or four wood four wood is very good the three stone is also good but the three stone messes up my magnet I think I'm going to just read stone food here and see what happens. Double building would be quite nice. 
water carrier food. Oh, thanks, Mont, too. Uh, the wild stone cars. So yeah, there's a ton of stone in the game. We had round five stone, freeloading, read stone food, stage one, mare candidate, and then stone car stone cars. So tons of stone in the game. Play branch collector here. Do a lot steals of wood, yeah. If V takes two read, I'm forced to build, but if V doesn't take two read, then I can build next round. When are we gonna get Wishing Fountain active? Um well ideally when I play Wishing Fountain I can rebuild the well. So not for a while. Because I really want, like, it, because I have to play Animal Trap. If I'm not going to get the well a second time, then I have to play Animal Trap before I play the Wishing Fountain. So the Wishing Fountain might just be, like, for, two, like, two activations in 13 and 14, and that's fine. We'll see. No rush. Like, paying a food for a resource is, when, so paying a food for a resource is good when you're food abundant, because, say, you have the cooking hearth and there's lots of good animal grabs on the board. But when you're feeding with the well, you don't normally have so much excess food that you can afford to give it up for building resources. Normally, you're playing very a very fine line when you're not feeding with a cooking hearth or a good baking strategy. That paying a food for a resource is not really something that you want to do a whole bunch of times. Um, hmm. I have to first action build next round, which means I can't take the three wood, so I will take the three wood here. Uh, I forgot. Replaying read exchange. This is for this forces me to build. I can play gardening enthusiast here. I could play paleontologist, threaten the animals. Gardening Enthusiast threatens that I'm going to bake. Uh, paleontologist, sure. So I have to build here, but that's fine. I don't mind building. And I am going to build two stable or two, uh, two rooms. And then maybe I second action um, pottery. And then round nine, I could magnet on family growth and activate it at the end of the round. Because the stone's certainly getting taken this round.
Um, I guess if the sheep are here, I'm just taking the sheep. And then I can build the pottery next round, maybe. So I can hold eight animals on paleontologist right now. Idawad didn't freeload build. Idawad could have freeloaded build and then grown next round again. But would have been very tight on food in that case. Upholstery. On Reno or start player? Probably on Reno, because then can build I don't know, can build a clay room for very little. DV lots still no occupations. DV lots playing wealthiest zero, right? So DV lots just setting up for wealthiest zero. Probably gonna build a stone room with wealthiest zero, I would guess. Or just use it for a ton of wood. And maybe has the Merchant Plowman as well. So play Wealthiest Euro into Merchant Plowman. Play nice. And uh, might also have Resource Gatherer. So Resource Gatherer for a 6 wood action. And then Merchant Plowman for a couple fields. And Wealthiest Euro for a ton of wood and stone. Yeah, nice looking game. Feels a bit bad about late family growth. But still doing fine. Yeah, here's the wealthiest European. Wants to get Merchant Plowman out next round, I guess. Or to Reno and play um, Resource Gatherer next round. Two reed and five clay. Hmm. Getting this stuff for a clay room. So this forces Idlewild to first action build over six wood. Or it lets DV Lot build in front of Idlewild. Be playing homemaker here. Play family growth magnet, get a wood. Yes, yeah, so we knew Merchant Plowman was coming. I think not taking any wood from Wealthiest Zero, not taking wood or stone from Wealthiest Zero was a mistake. Yeah.
So feed three food and a clay. Probably be magneting a stone. I could have start player to get yep to grow ahead of him. Yep. Uh breed my sheep here. I don't want playing bean hole. This one on Reno? I thought the last one was on Reno, but it wasn't. Yeah, this one is on Reno, okay. Yeah, I'm fairly confident Idlewild's got upholstery. Or, sorry, upholstery, peon, right? Like, V could, could start player here, even. You never know. Uh, so Divilot's growing, so I'm wondering if there's a way to steal the stone oven. Just because green mill oven is very cheap to play, and the fact that it gives me a wood is kind of nice. Like, I can major mine our green mill oven into start player, build the stone oven. Especially if V or someone start players. Oh, bronze oven coming out. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, Idlewild's got three stone. Idlewild's got the stone for the stone oven. Interesting. Oh, picked up a uh, stone cart. That's right. Uh, do I want to play an occupation? Yes, I should. I should definitely play an occupation. Should have played gardening enthusiast. Sorry. Yeah, because then when I stone oven, I could bake, and I have the animal trap for later. So, what if I start player now? Well, if I start player now, then I can't grain mill oven because I don't have any stone. Unless I take stone with my second move. Take stone from the reed stone food space. Yeah, taking one stone at a time really kills my efficiency, but maybe that's the play here. Cattle, cattle, grain. Uh, plus wood. Yeah, the fact that I'm getting wood while spamming these improvements makes a big, big difference. If I'm not getting wood while spamming these improvements, then this line is a lot worse. The thing is, if I don't get the stone oven, I can just lumber. Honestly, playing lumber on family growth and defensing is fine as well, because I can't hold all these sheep and, and, um, and the cattle that's coming in. I'll only be able to hold uh, four animals on paleontologists once that um, harvest starts. So the, the other thing I could do is make a fireplace as a way to eat the sheep, and then I can do that. This only really works if I get major money. It's kind of a bad it's kind of a bad move if I don't get major minor back here. I guess I could Reno lumber. 
and then play what in 11 stable I mean, V's taking the boar. What is DV lot doing? Taking three wood? All right. Yeah, so I'll build the grain mill oven into family grow stone oven next round. Bake a grain. I unfortunately do not get a wood from building the stone oven because I'm not actually using clay or stone here. That's cool. Uh, and then I get to magnet a stone again. And then, and yeah, that's my turn. Uh, I should bake a grain. Not bad. Not bad at all. The only thing I'm missing now is fields and fencing. But this is not bad. Start player lumber, second move in defense would be quite good. Although V might fence. V is going to play absinthe. Okay, I should probably fence. Uh, I want six clay. Six clay is quite good. I could six clay into lumber if I'm okay with not breeding the sheep just keeping the sheep at four i could also six six clay into a fireplace or a hearth that would be an option as well but i think continuing to activate magnet seems quite nice i'm kind of just waiting for idlewild to spend their stone to take like reed stone food and reno or f more likely for reed and reno is uh branch collector a may can i choose not to take the wood you receive it's not a may so i have to be careful because if i reno to stone i get a wood which is bad because of mere candidate so that's interesting I did not think about that. Okay, so I could play um, Reno Cooking Hearth here to eat the sheep, or or I could throw away the sheep to play Lumber. Uh, start player Lumber next round seems like a good move. Uh, you know what? Do I need the Cooking Hearth? Am I ever eating anything other than sheep? Um, spending the one extra clay is probably worth it. Yeah, it's probably worth it. And five food clay feed seven. And eat a sheep as well. Good. Looking good. With uh, Swine Herd, I guess the Cooking Hearth is probably better. Just, just thinking that the difference between eating a clay in the next uh, harvest offsets the difference from eating one or two animals. Because I probably won't, don't want to take clay in, in the next stage. I probably am hoping to wait until round 14. So, fencing and plowing are the next things that I want to do.
Certainly need defense in the next stage. Absolutely need defense. All right, family growth flipped. Does V take family growth here, or does V re-up start player? V could re-up start player to, and give me family growth here. It's not impossible. If V decides that he really wants a plow so action. Also because V can family growth with room later in the round. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Nice. That's amazing for me. Really amazing for me. I wheel lumber and I can lumber into fence 13. Uh, I don't even really want to fence 13. I really kind of want to just fence big. I really want to fence like 14. Oh well, that's fine. He's got hammock. Okay. Yep. So he's going to get to grow again next round. So I can play swine herd. Uh, may as well. Uh, three wood went to DV lot. Is DV lot fencing here? Fencing five? Probably not. Probably DV lot can use self pasture and fence better later. Hopefully. So then I can take two wood and last move fence. That's my thinking. And then I try to use, I can have read exchange in stable and also building stables to get rid of any branch collector wood that I'll collect the rest of the way. I do lose out on the board here. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I would, I'm taking one board next round, right? Taking one board next round is totally fine. I should give myself the chance at breeding boar. Yeah. There's no reason not to. I plan to build a stable anyways. I should give myself a chance at breeding boar. I'll wait to hear where Absinthe is going, I suppose, but I mean, my move is guaranteed. Oh, uh, magnet.
Remove one stone from the four stone. My feeding's not amazing. I don't know, Montu. I've got four sheep here and a cooking hearth. I think it's fine. Take six clay next round for two points and two food. All uh, wishing fountain next round, or all wishing fountain next move. If start player wheels, just to get that one, that second field, because the second field is worth quite a bit. That TV lot's gonna start player. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I probably will plow then, because I doubt V is gonna plow. Over fencing, yeah, V is gonna fence. Will I get my second field here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then I can take one boar and what else? One boar and set up to reno maybe. At a wild reedstone food. If I played Wishing Fountain, I could wish for a reed. It saves me having to use a full action to take it. But then I'd need one extra stone. Maybe I'm supposed to take four clay here, because if I take four clay, Idlewild could take four clay, which means V can't reno, which means I should be able to get a reno in. Hmm. I'm regretting taking this stone from this stone action, because what I could have done is taken four stone and then built the wishing fountain, and that would set up for my reno as well. Hmm. What should I be doing here? I could steal a wood from V <laughs> and do what with it? Build a stable? Sowing my grain is, or taking a second grain and taking more vegetables is fine. That's that's only one point. I'm hoping to do better than one point. So the reno is better than one point, which is what I'm thinking about here. Take the four clay. I think the four clay gives me some options. Yeah, like maybe Idlewild wants to take clay and then build a room. No, Idlewild's gonna reno lumber. Ooh. 
It's a bit dangerous. Rhino Lumber is a bit dangerous because you might have to freeload a uh, fence as Idle Wild. But I guess you're going last next run. Oh, yeah, Major Minor Lumber. Okay, that makes more sense. I was going to say Rhino Lumber is aggressive. <sighs> Because worst case scenario, you can freeload Reno Fence. And I expect V is taking the four clay. I'm going to take the boar here. I want to see what move I get last. I want to see what V's last move is. But yeah, V takes the clay. So V could just reno here. I also want to know if DV lot's taking stone. I want to know about that as well. I can double breed thanks to my paleontologist, but I'll have to build uh, stables next round or eat down to one of uh, boar or sheep. I don't want stealing a wood. Oh, you guys can't see stable, but I do have stable miner here. Whoops. I know fruit cake, or no family growth fruit cake, and DV lot did take stone. Okay, so stone is not available. The stone reno is not available, uh. So I can take one vegetable here. That's one point. Sure. Mm. Am I getting plow so? If I'm getting plow so, I'm probably supposed to take it. Am I supposed to take a grain if I get plow so? No, I think it's equivalent. Yeah, I think it's equivalent. Alright, so I'm going to eat a clay and two sheep. And for food. Harvest Feast. Okay. Is this on Reno? If it's on Reno, yeah, so this being on Reno means that now DV Lot can plow so, or V can plow so, because Reno is not being pressured by Idlewild anymore. So, very, very nice move here by Idlewild. Although, you are still playing a bit risky, right? Because DV Lot might fence but you're counting on dv lot taking um plow so so that you can first move plow so and then you're counting on dv lot reno fencing especially since v has no wood but reno fence is nice for v because it's another time that v can activate homemaker
be getting rid of the stone. Uh, wishing fountain into stable, maybe. Or just tanking it for one negative point. Getting rid of it costs more actions and we can probably gain by doing other things. So, probably just tank the negative one. And regret that I ever magneted it. Ooh, 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 Reno Fence here. <laughs> uh, me putting Absinthe on Reno Fence, I feel like Rex. Rex DV Lot in Idlewild, and is very good for me. <laughs> is V buying Plauso here by doing this? Saying, hey, if you want to Reno Fence, you better take it now, because otherwise I'm threatening it. Yep. Savage. So then V gets Plauso. I mean, to be fair, this the so is not even that good for DV Lot. Um, good question, Monto. I'd have to read the text. I should get Plow So back, or sorry, I should, I should get So Bake back, so I can take uh, Plow One Field here, because I should get second move So Bake. And building the stable is not the most important thing. Eating two boar and breeding the cattle and sheep are fine. So I can plan to do that. Yeah, so I can sow a grain and two vegetables. Then I have one extra vegetable to return. Uh, and I have three grains, so I can return one of them, no problem. And then I eat two boar, putting me at eight food. Then I just have to take two food this round. I can play Wishing Fountain for two points. Uh, Wishing Fountain is no points, I believe. Because it gives me Branch Collector, Montu. So wish, Wishing Fountain is branch uh, triggers Branch Collector. It's not a May. Branch Collector is a, is a must. Seems like you don't have a choice. So I'd have to get, yes, I'd have to get Wishing Fountain into Stable. Yes. Correct. Start giving myself some points. Do I have enough since I didn't get to a stone house? Maybe. I do have nice major improvements. He's got a four point reno left. So V's definitely closest. Although, yeah, Idlewild is also at 41. V is, v is definitely closest. V ties me because I'm at 45. V ties me right now. I'm actually lower than 45. I'm at 44. Well, Magnet cancels it out. So I'm at 45 exactly with three moves remaining. And V has Reno Improvement. So if V's got a, any, like a two-point minor to play, then V's probably winning. But we'll see. Let's see. It, maybe it's worth trying for. So how much is that sequence worth? So the Wishing Fountain is a zero point action that gives me a three point stable action. Is that right? Or is it only a two point stable action? I think it's only a two point. It's a, it's a three point stable action if I get boar with my last move. If I get the boar, it's three points. Compared to taking clay, and then what else would I do? Certainly, I would take boar. Maybe I just maybe I'm just supposed to take boar here, 
and see if I get major minor next move because then these guys yeah because if we go through the next round and both are available then the last moves are more predetermined right because we know what V's last move is so I'll take this plus an O here and I can put all my boar in there Is there any way we take stone wishing fountain into build well again? That's an interesting idea. The problem is um, it does, I do lose, like I would collect branch collector off of building the well. But yeah, that's not a bad idea. So the thing is, if I take four stone and I spend wish, I spend wishing fountain. So is magnet a may? Magnets of May. Yeah, Magnets of May. Okay. So I take four stone, putting me at five stone. I only spend four of them. So I'd have minus two. So I would end the game with the well, but minus two. So that seems like it's net two points only. Right? That whole sequence is only net plus two points. And very easy to get completely wrecked in that line. Yeah, I do agree with that as well. Um, let's find out. Return the well. My points actions are limited. Yeah, I'd have a zero point action anyways. Idlewild's got boundary stones. Uh oh, too bad. So no, no stable. So in my last move, where am I getting points from my last move? Um, two clay. Two clay is my only point move remaining. And then I'm eating a boar. And. Then I'm probably just eating three boar. Uh, no, eat a boar, eat a boar and two sheep. That's not quite enough. That's actually one, two. Yeah, that's not quite enough. I need to eat. Uh, yeah, boar, two sheep is not enough. I guess I can eat a boar and a cattle. And that's still not enough. Yeah, I'm one food short either way. So I have to count how this breaks down. So I can eat a cattle and a boar and a sheep. That's the worst. Uh, that's the worst line. Eat a. So I think probably eating two sheep. Mm, I could eat two cattle and a boar. But that's that's not good. That's eating two points. I'm trying to eat only one point here. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is there a way to eat only one point? And eating the two sheep is the way to eat only one point. Two sheep and a boar. But then I'm one food short in that line. So, yeah. Uh, no matter what, I'm eating two points. So let's eat two sheep. Eat two sheep and two boar. And I have a negative point from mare candidate. So I have my final farm plus four is my final. Uh, and return GV. But that doesn't cost me any points. 47. Yeah, it was tight. If I get that stable action, then I win. Right? I think it, yeah, I think if I get that stable action, I can win. I win. Maybe I only score 48, though.
I haven't lost a point for mayor candidate there. Sucks when there's no good pottery actions late. Yeah, it does. It does stink. Uh, um, yeah, too much stone. I wasn't able to rebuy the well. Did I eat a grain? I turn returned a grain for um, a gardening enthusiast. I had to return a grain and a vegetable for gardening enthusiast. So I got victimized by Mare Candidate here, which um, doesn't happen too often. Normally Mare Candidate I view is pretty free, but in this game, the uh, downside of Mare, Mare Candidate mattered. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, ending the game with four boar is sad, but even so, like I have to make up more than one point, right? I have to make up more than one point. Where is V beating me? Is it really just the crop score? I guess it's crops and fields. Because we're... Oh, he's got a better animal score than me, too. All right, yeah. It's crops, fields, and animals. Offsetting my far superior improvement points. And two fence stables. Okay, yeah, so there's like five categories where it beats me on. To offset my like four extra improvement points. Yeah, so I didn't really think about branch collector mare candidate. I might not have t I might not have drafted it in that case. I might have drafted that a bit differently. Whoops. Yeah, so it was too bad that there was so much stone in the game because my magnet does a really good job of denying the other player's stone, and then it also um, the fact that I could not uh, could not build the well twice uh, was unfortunate, and also the fact that I had to build the well that I had to mare candidate into build the well was unfortunate as well. So I guess I guess a bunch of things kind of went badly for me. In spite of getting family growth without room gifted in round 12, uh, but I guess a bunch of other things went badly. I took branch collector here. What could I take instead? Resource gatherer? I didn't get the stone. Should I have played Animal Handler? Meh. I mean, the Bridge Collector was good. The Bridge Collector ended up being great for my minor improvements. My minor improvements were great for Branch Collector. Yeah, maybe I needed to do the alms basket line. I I guess I saw a stone cart here. I didn't know about freeloader. But maybe seeing stone cart, I should have questioned whether or not there was going to be too much stone in the game.
Yeah, so if I get the stable miner... If I get the stable miner, um... Out, I score... That's a two-point action on its face, so I score one point better than my final. But then what also happens is I can eat... So part of the problem with my fencing was that I couldn't hold four sheep, four cattle, and three boar. I did not have room for that. So that's why... So if I did, if I do get that stable action, then instead of eating um, a sheep point, I can eat an extra boar, and then that that, that is plus one point. So I tie for the win if I get that stable miner out. So that was a bit too bad as well. So I, I'm close. Um... I don't think I knew about Boundary Stones. I don't well must have first picked it. So. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. That's all for me for today. Do a couple games tomorrow. Um, yeah. We'll see you then.